Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjaliyamal Mahalingam Engineering College, Kovil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on solution and discussion on UPSC Engineering Service Exam questions in the topic Refrigeration and Air Conditioning. This is lecture number 25. The first question from 2014 question paper, in a vapor compression refrigeration system, the high pressure liquid from the condenser or receiver is cooled below its saturation temperature. Two, there are four options to reduce the net to work per cycle, to reduce the net to refrigeration effect, increase the net to refrigeration effect, reduce the pressure on the high pressure side. The correct option is increase the net to refrigeration effect. We will see how in the diagram. So, the temperature entropy diagram, the refrigeration cycle, vapor compression refrigeration cycle is shown here, temperature entropy diagram. And this is the end of the condensa condensation, 4 dash, actually, end of, uh, actually 4 is the end of the condensation, 4 dash is the saturation condition and 4, 4 to 4 dash to 4 is the under cooling. So, the cooling below its saturation temperature. So, saturation temperature is 4 dash and the cooling below its saturation temperature is the process is called as undercooling. The effect of undercooling is the point 1. Suppose the expansion takes place from 4 dash, the point 1 will come here. Now, because of the undercooling, the point 1 is shifted to the left side of the temperature entropy diagram. So, the length of 1, 1 dash, 1, 2, length of 1, 2 is the the refrigeration effect in the evaporator that increases. So, the undercooling that is reducing the temperature below the saturation temperature is called as undercooling. Undercooling increases the net refrigeration effect. That is the correct answer. The next question, if consider the following functions. Minimizing the friction, sealing the gas between section and the discharge port as a coolant to transfer heat from the crankcase to the compressor shell to dampen the noise generated by the moving part. So, which of the above functions do the lubricants in the refrigerator system perform? So, all the four. So, all the four are the functions of the lubricant system in the hermetically sealed compressor. Normally, in the refrigerator system, uh, the compressor is completely covered. If you look at, at the household refrigerator, you may find the a black color body, which is the compressor, which is completely sealed. Uh, uh, in which all the four functions, the refrigerant will do all the four functions. The next question from 2015 question paper, in case of a vapor compression refrigerator, if the condenser temperature of the refrigerant is closer to the critical temperature, then there will be excessive power consumption, high compression, large volume flow. Which of the above statements are correct? So, the 1 and 2, they are correct, excessive power consumption and there will be high compression. Uh, the reason you look at this diagram. Now, again the temperature entropy diagram for a simple vapor compression refrigeration cycle and this is the critical point in the uh, in the diagram. Now, this is the point temperature, condensation temperature. So, if the condenser temperature of the refrigeration, refrigerant is closer to the critical temperature. So, when the 3.3 is the 3, 2 dash, this is the constant temperature line. When this line is shifted to the top, when this is moving above the top, the two reason, there will be excessive compression. There will be excessive compression. Because of the excessive compression, there will be power power generated, power consumed by the compressor. There will be more power consumption and the pressure across the compressor, pressure raised by the compressor will be very high. So, that is the uh, option. Option 1 and option 2, they are the correct answers. The next question, the ordinates in, and the abscissa of the diagram given for the vapor compression refrigeration cycle represents. So, this is the diagram shown here, pressure volume, temperature enthalpy, enthalpy enthalpy, pressure enthalpy. So, this is the diagram. So, pressure in the y-axis, enthalpy in the x-axis, the answer is pressure enthalpy. So, x-axis is enthalpy, y-axis is pressure. Next question from 2017 question paper, consider the following statement for refrigeration air conditioning. In a refrigeration, refrigerating machine, the heat exchanger that absorbs heat is, heat is connected to the conditioned space. The refrigeration cycle operating reversibly between two heat reservoirs has the highest COP. 
the lowest uh, the lower of the refrigeration required and the higher higher of the temperature heat rejection to the surrounding the larger will be the power consumption the lower of the refrigeration required and the higher will be the temperature of the heat rejection to the surrounding larger power consumption which of the above statements are uh, correct so all the three statements are correct so in the refrigeration machine heat exchanger that absorbs the heat uh, it is connected to the conditioned space that is called as evaporator in the uh, in, 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 in indoor indoor com, uh, indoor component it is the evaporator the refrigerator cycle operating on the reversible cycle so carnot cycle reversible cycle is carnot cycle that is that will have the highest cop and the lower the refrigeration and the higher the heat rejection that will give the that will absorb larger uh, power consumption in the refrigerating machine the next question again 2017 question paper consider the following statement in respect of vapor absorption refrigeration cycle the absorption refrigeration cycle is generally used when the waste heat is available from the exist from an uh, existing source or when the free energy like solar energy is to be used there are no moving parts in the absorption refrigerant plant excepting small liquid pump the value of coefficient of performance is nearly same as same in the both vapor absorption vapor compressor refrigeration system and which of the above statements are correct only 1 and 2 so three third statement is not correct absorption cycle we can use the solar energy and there is no moving part in the absorption refrigeration plant excepting the small pump the next question from 2017 question paper there are two statements statement 1 subcooling of a refrigerant liquid increases the coefficient of performance of the refrigeration cycle so this is correct subcooling reduces the work requirement of the refrigeration cycle so we will see the answer is both statement 1 is true and the statement 2 is false so subcooling will not reduce the work requirement of the refrigeration cycle uh, actually work requirement on the compressor subcooling will only increase the refrigeration effect thereby the ref, uh, cop of the refrigeration cycle the next question again from 2017 question paper there are two statements statement 1 in vapor absorption system larger the value of specific solution circulation more will be the pump work statement 2 higher solution circulation rate of poor as well as rich solution need larger pressure drop in the system so the two statements are individually true uh, but the statement 2 is not the correct explanation of the so statement 1 so vapor absorption system larger the specific value specific solution circulation more of the pump work higher solution circulation rate poor as well as rich solution need larger pressure drop in the system all these two statements are true individually the next question from 2019 question paper consider the following statements an expansion device in a refrigeration system reduces the pressure from the condenser to the evaporator regulate the flow of the refrigerant to the evaporator depending on the load it is essential a re, essential a restriction offering resistance to the flow which of the above statements are correct all the three statements are correct in the uh, question given uh, pre, uh, 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 the expansion device it act as a reducing pressure from the condenser pressure to the evaporator pressure regulate the flow and it is the essential res resistance offered by the flow The next question again from 2019 question paper in an electrolux refrigerator thermo chiffon bubble pump is used to lift weak aqua solution from the generator to the separator weak aqua solution from the separator to the absorber strong aqua solution from the generator to the separator and a strong aqua solution from the generator to the evaporator and the correct answer is option A weak aqua solution from the generator to the separator The next question the ideal gas refrigeration cycle is same as the bretton cycle reversed bretton cycle vapor compression refrigeration cycle vapor absorption refrigeration cycle the correct answer is reversed bretton cycle so which is shown here so this is the reversed bretton cycle 1 to 2 this is isentropic compression in the compressor 2 to 3 it is the constant uh, pressure uh, cooling and 3 uh, to 4 it is again Uh, reduce actually isentropic uh, expansion in the expander and uh, 4 to 1 it is heat addition in the evaporator so this is the evaporator this is the condenser and this is the expander and this is the compressor so this is the reversed bretton cycle 
So, Barrett-Tan cycle is opposite. First compression, then the heat addition, expansion, then the heat rejection. Now, it is reverse Barrett-Tan cycle, which is the uh, ideal gas refrigeration cycle. The next question from 2016 question paper, the choice of refrigerant depends on refrigeration capacity, types of compressor used, whether the reciprocating centrifugal or the screw compressor, service used, whether the air conditioning, cold storage or the food freezing. Which of the above statements are correct? 1 and 3, 1 only, 3 only or 1, 2, 3. So, 1 and 3 statements are correct. Refrigeration capacity and this type of service, whether it is air conditioning, cold storage or the food freezing. Depending on the two parameter, we are selecting the the refrigerant. The next question from 2018 question paper, consider the following statement regarding vapor absorption system in the field of refrigeration. In ammonia water absorption system, ammonia is the refrigerant. In, the, in water lithium bromide system, water is the refrigerant. Ammonia water absor absorption reaction is endothermic. The amount of ammonia absorbed by the water is inversely proportional to the temperature of the ammonia. So, which of the above statements are correct? So, the correct statements are 1, 2 and 4. So, ammonia in the ammonia wa water system, ammonia is the refrigerant. In water lithium bromide system, water is the refrigerant. The amount, amount, amount of ammonia absorbed depends on the inversely proportional temperature of the ammonia. 1, 2, 4 statements are true. Other, the third statement is not correct. Next question from 2020 question paper, a free and told simple satur uh, saturation cycle operates at the temperature of 35 degrees Celsius and minus 15 degrees Celsius for the contents and the evaporator. If the refrigeration effect produced by the cycle is 111.5 kJ per kilogram and the work required by the compressor is 27.2 kJ per kilogram, the value of COP is nearly, we calculate the COP. COP equal to refrigeration effect divided by the work of the compressor. So, the actual refrigeration effect equal to 111.5 and the compressor work rate is 27.2 kJ per kilogram and the COP calculating the COP is 4.1. The correct answer is COP 4.1. So, when you when you, it is given, temperature is also given. Using the temperature also, we can calculate the COP. That is a theoretical COP. The actual COP is only with the refrigeration effect, calculating with respect to refrigeration effect and the compressor work input. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. I upload the video lecture of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. Uh, uh, presently, I am uploading the solution for UPS engineering series exam question paper. You subscribe the YouTube channel. Listen to the video for your better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. We will meet again uh, in the next video lecture with a few more questions on the refrigeration and air conditioning. Until then, bye.